Hi everyone, this is John Michael for a new episode of GM Insect Discovery. And can you see the green uh, insect right here? Well, believe it or not, but this is a dragonfly larvae. So, dragonfly larvae uh, really differ from the adult version. They are aquatic, and as you can see, they don't have wings. And also, they are not really agile. In fact, they are quite uh, clumsy. So, how do they uh, move in water? Well, obviously, they have six really long legs uh, in comparison. Uh, as the adult version would have really short uh, legs so um, this is one of their way of moving and the other way is I don't know if you can really see it but uh, right in the at the end of the abdomen uh, there is like a kind of a little hole and what they do uh, especially when they are afraid or when they want to cover a really big distance really fast is that they, uh, they, they take some water in their abdomen and push it uh, from their from that hole so they can propel uh, themselves oh, sorry, uh, really fast um, one thing they have in common with the uh, adult is the fact that they are carnivorous so in the water, uh, they will eat some uh, small invertebrate, um, small vertebrate as well as uh, tadpole and small uh, fish, but maybe not this species, or at least not at this stage of uh, her growth, since uh, this one is pretty small uh, in comparison as uh, some of the larvae of dragonfly I caught. Uh, the past. So I found that one in my um, native pocket. Um, it, w it was one of the two I found. Uh, the first one was eaten by the uh, my goldfish. But I w I'm gonna keep this one uh, in the native pocket and it will probably just feed out of um, multiple species of small little insect that I brought uh, quite accidentally uh, by taking some plants so I think um, if you see some of them in your aquarium uh, don't worry too much uh, they will probably be eaten by a big enough fish but um, if you want some uh, uh, fry or something and you see dragonfly larvae uh, fry would be at risk since uh, those little in, uh, larvae are good predatory um, so I'm going to put it back in my uh, native bucket as you can see she's kind of uh, propulsing it, sir, it, itself when I'm pushing on her so I'm going to put it oops sorry in the native bucket and well I don't even know where it is uh, at this point since it is pretty green uh, exactly like the plants she is hiding in um, but yeah that was a, a dragonfly, drag, dragonfly larvae sorry and this is my native bucket and as you can see uh, those little dots are some snails so I'm having a lot of luck uh, in the native bucket I am still uh, cycling it uh, there is a lot of heavy rain uh, these days so the native bucket is uh, f filling itself up uh, in a natural way so this is good um, I will be able to put some um, fish or crayfish in there in the next few days but I still want to uh, let the, the 
bucket adjust itself and I'm just um, looking for a really good day to do uh, some collecting of minnows or something like this. So anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you real soon. Bye!